So let's dig into this a little bit deeper and do a comparison for where Shelbyville stands relative to other similar sized cities when it comes to soccer complexes. So here we've taken the Tennessee city populations by ranking. We've got the city in the first column, the projected 2024 population, as well as the 2020 census, that percentage change, and whether or not they have a soccer complex. So if there's a yes out here or a soccer complex name, then that means that city obviously has a soccer complex. So here, if you look at it, Shelbyville city population ranks 30th in the state with 25,000 residents. And we are the first of all of those top 30 cities that does not have a soccer complex. As you go below us, the next city that comes into play is number 52, Hartsville. Now, Hartsville is a metro area with Trousdale County. So the city and county governments are combined. Their population is considered as a whole, and they have 13,000 residents in the entire county. That is half the size of what Shelbyville city population is. As you go all the way down to this number 60, Oakland, Oakland is a suburb outside of Memphis. Let's take a look a little bit closer at Oakland and I can show you what that looks like. This is Oakland here. So this is just outside of Memphis as you can see. And let's take a closer look. And we're going to search not nearby to see what we can find in terms of soccer fields. So if we look just close by, you have multiple, multiple options. But you have Arlington soccer fields. It's not down below. You have Progress Park. You have Micro Soccer Complex, and Micro Soccer Complex is the single largest sports complex in regards to soccer with 17 full-size fields there, and that's all within minutes of Oakland. So if we go back and we take a look at where we are, really, outside of Hartsville, which is a metropolitan area combined with their city and county, the Shelbyville is behind in terms of what other places have in terms of facilities. So if we look at the county breakdown, Bedford County is, again, the first county ranked at number 32 without a soccer complex. Our county has 53,000 residents. We've had double digit growth at 18 and three quarters percent, and yet we do not have a soccer complex. It isn't until you come to Fayette County that's shown here, which guess what? Fayette County is the home county for Oakland that we just talked about, and Campbell County in East Tennessee before you find other locations like ours that are without soccer complexes. So in closing, what I'd like to say is that 49 of the top 50 cities and 69 of the 95 counties in the state of Tennessee cannot be wrong. It's time for us to take advantage of this wonderful opportunity through TDEC and get soccer on the map in Bedford County.